Right, I'm just doing a quick review. Uh, we've got a new uh, mobility car. Uh, we've had it about two weeks, a Dacia Jogger. Um, this is a wheelchair adapted um, jogger. So you can put sort of a ramp at the back and you can put a wheelchair in the back. Um, I just wanted to do a general review if you're interested in buying uh, a Dacia Jogger or um, you know, if you're interested in the wheelchair variety, I'll talk a bit about um, both. So just to give you um, a, an insight, this is like, this is the, uh, I don't know if it's the SE model or something like that, but it's the one that where you get the sat nav. So we've got sat nav, um, it's not, not not the base model, sat nav, and you get these plastic, you get these um, sort of de decal stickers on the side, these sort of groovy stickers like this lot as well. Um, but I'll, I'll show you the, the wheelchair adaption. Uh, as I say, yeah, it's come from um, Cirrus, which is um, a company in Tamworth. Um, a company in Tamworth sort of thing. Uh, just to give you an idea. So yeah, you see your ramp drops down and then uh, your wheelchair, you put your wheelchair in the back. Um, I would say that it's fairly dark um you have got these side you've got these little side vent windows that you can open so you can get a bit of air in um but you know our son's been sort of sat in the back um and he's not been too bad but you know you, you do sort of realize it is quite it is quite sort of dark in there um you've got the attachments obviously to, for, for sort of holding the wheelchair all that sort of thing. And the second thing, any other thing I would criticise as well, there's not much storage area. You know, this is the first wheelchair adapted vehicle we've had. And then it's like, you think, you know, if you want to put like um, a bag with a torch and a toilet roll and a and a longer longer wheel brace and things like this, or a, or a, 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 a compressor that you can plug into your cigarette lighter, all that sort of stuff. There isn't really any room for it, which I think is a bit of a shame. I think really, when as they were adapting it, there is room. Maybe on the sides, they could have, they could have thought, oh, you know what? We'll 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 put a little bag, we'll put a little bag or a bag each side on there, so you have got a bit of storage in the boot. I think that would have been handy. Um, I was a bit dubious. I'll show you around it. I was a bit dubious about the power. Anybody who's thinking of buying um, a Dacia Jogger will know that it's a three-cylinder, one-litre um, engine. It's a, um, a Renault engine, and it's got, I think it's got 110 bhp. Uh, and to be honest with you, I thought, oh, I thought, you know, it's going to be gutless, you know what I mean? It's going to be hopeless, you know what I mean? But I'll tell you what, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Um, you know, it's got six-speed gearbox. Um, when you're on the motorway, you know, you can easily do sort of 70 or 80, no sweat. Um, you, you know, it can be a bit noisy when you put your foot down, but it does pick up. Um, you know, we've had um, two adults, two kids in the car, and, it, and it's been fine sort of thing. Um, you know, as I say, the only problem we've had with it is the... Um, it's got um, it's it's got lane assist. I don't think they call it lane assist, but it's got like a lane assist. So when you're driving around, if you if you're straying over the white line, it's the, the the steering wheel pulls you back basically. You know, sort of motorised pulls you back. And uh, my partner's been driving the car, and she's found it uh, quite terrifying. Now you can turn it off. Um, there is an easy turn off and what you've got to do this button here that button there yeah it's got like a circle with a little car in you've got to press that twice and then that turns off um, that turns off the sort of safety features um, and it doesn't try and pull you pull you sort of um, back over when you go over the white line I had it while I was like overtaking somebody and I was like literally like wrestling with the car um, and it wanted to sort of pull me back as, as I was sort of over, you know, overtaking. So it can be a bit, a bit scary. Um, as I say, this, this is the, like I said, this is the one with the um, uprated, uprated 
uh, sat nav. So you get quite a big, you get quite a big console. I don't know if you can see my hands, but you get quite a big sort of uh, tablet on your dashboard. Um, the sat nav's all right. It's fairly basic. Um, you know, it's like a sat nav that you might have had 10 years ago. You know, it's quite sort of basic. Um, but it works, do you know what I mean? We've, we've been using it. You've got a USB socket for charging as well up there sort of thing. And uh, I do believe there's a USB in the back. And the only other annoying thing is the key's quite big. You, you get quite a big key. Uh, my partner has gone on eBay and bought this, this cover. So it looks a bit more bling sort of thing, blingy. Um, but yeah, it is, you know, it's the same as the Renault. You get a massive... You get a massive key. Do you know what I mean? Now, the second thing I was I was surprised about was the, the amount of room in the back. I thought with it with it being a three rows of seats, I thought the the back seats will be very tight, right? But they've been re they've been all right. They've not been too bad. You can see that I can get in. Uh, it's not too bad. There's a um, bit of room, as you can see. We've got another USB charger down there plus a traditional cigarette lighter charger so you could um, plug in a cool box and um, there's plenty of headroom um, and it's a bit tell you what you know um, I think I think if you want a, a cheap family car and you uh, and you've got a big family say you've got I don't know four kids or something like that and you need a seven seater you know I think they're all right I don't think they're too bad you know, I would recommend uh, getting yourself a jogger. So that's all I'm doing for now. That's my quick review of the uh, Dacia jogger. Okay, cheers. Bye.